Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel, Ampro Live. You know, we got some exciting news coming up. Times been tough. People lost jobs. People kept their jobs. We're just trying to stay busy. But on the good note, I got another project. The Stereon is for sale. So if you do want to buy it, you could email me or send a message in your comments. 1250 OBO, no engine, no transmission. So Roll, rolling shell. It's a rolling shell, three extra fenders, interior skid, title in hand, Florida car. I'm the third owner. The second owner bought it off the original owner, and I know the second owner. But on a side note, I want to show you guys the new project that we're going to be working on. Hence why the Asterion doesn't have no engine because it's going into this new car. Let's flip the camera around real quick. Whoa. Oh. So this is and the new. The new, new 82 Toyota Corolla. I, I bought it off my friend. I've known this car since 2010. So I know the history of it. I've done some crazy things in it. Me and my friend have, this car was the burnout machine of our old club back in the day. And it was a daily driver at one point in time. But now it's gonna be a track car. With steering on engine, if you wanna look real quick. I know we haven't made videos in a while. We've been busy. But we're trying to figure out how to mount this steering on engine, create the mounts, stuff like that. Yeah, sorry. didn't take a picture of taking off the fenders and hood, but it's all right. And yesterday, this is my stepdad's wagon. I know you guys seen it. Made a little progress. Um, got the engine bay repainted because he wanted it red this time. So now that the engine bay is painted, the wiring guy will be able to continue the wiring. We'll definitely have some footage on that one. But in the meantime, this 82 Toyota Corolla is my new project. Hopefully it'll be done soon. It won't, it's not gonna be done soon. It's probably like two or three year project. Let's see, depending if we could all get back on our feet or not. But definitely gonna have a lot of content to shoot for this, for the channel now. You know what I mean? We got body work to do. We're not the best, whatever. Welding. Hey, we never said we are professionals. But, you know, I got a Harbor Freight welder here, but I got a good welder at work. So I'm going to use that to finish my welds. We're definitely going to paint this car. Me and Johnny are going to paint it ourselves. He's definitely going to help me with the body work since that's his background. And it's just going to be a track car, honestly. A streetable track car, but more track than street. As far as small radiator, probably a Honda radiator. Definitely running a few, so which I already have. Ford, nine inch, you know. It's just gonna be a growing progress with this. Never built a car to this statue as far as track wise. So professionally wise, I'll have the transmit, the engine professionally assembled by New for Speed Shop. Obviously I'm gonna have matte wiring, redo my wiring for this car also. But you know, it's gonna be a lot of professional stuff done, fabrication wise. A lot of body work, stuff like that. It's gonna be all me and Johnny. Brake lines, fuel lines, that's all on me. You know, do do what I feel comfortable with, but at the end of the day, it is gonna be a track car that if I wanna take it on the street, I could. Will I? Most likely not. But if I wanted to, I could, because I will have a big fuel cell. I think it's a 12 gallon fuel cell. Yeah, that's a 12. You know what I mean? It's like a little 12 gallon, so I'm going to have more fuel than regular track cars. That's why it's going to be track streetable. But, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to have it's a gonna, lot of fun. Yeah, it's, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of money. A lot, honestly. A lot. I need, just quick math in my head, I need minimum 10 grand to actually before it's actually something wow. But in the meantime, body work, that's all free because it's all on me and Johnny paint. Yep. That's nothing. As far as like fabrication wise, I'm going to need 10 grand plus paint, new and four speed shop to do the engine, 
paying people to do the rear end, you know, stuff like that. Still buying, I still gotta buy wastegate, stuff like that, but I got 90% of all the engine parts. I just have to take the machine shop. But yeah, this is it. It will be called, <laughs> if the previous owners let me use the, the name of the car, it will be a Brocky Sucio, a Brocky. That's why he named, nicknamed this car when he first bought it. I would like to keep the legacy of the name. Even the essence of the original. Yeah, even though nobody really cares, but I do, you know, out of respect for knowing this car. Or, if not, it'll be called a Krachman, like Craftsman's Tools, a Krachman. Hence, I had another lift back, like my blue Corolla, and that other Corolla never broke down on me. And I bought it for 250 bucks, and it was sitting for six years. And the craft one, craft men's tools back in the day were really great quality. I don't know about now because I'm more in snap on area right now. But hence the name Craftsman never breaks. So this car will, it's going to be one of those two names. So we'll see what happens. It's going to stay blue. I'm not going to mini tub it. I mean, it's going to stay brown and I'm not going to mini tub it. I'm going to run a 26 by eight and a half tire. I don't want no mini tubs. It's gonna be a small street tire. That's a 26 by eight and a half. That's a street tire all day long. It's gonna be like an actual real true street car for the track. I wanna run 999. As long as I hit nine seconds, it could be nine, 999 across the whole board. I'll be happy. And then once I get to that point, then I'll build, then I'll actually add more to it and try to go faster. Well, my goal is 999. Never had a 9 second car. Fingers crossed this will be it. If I hit 10 seconds, I'm gonna add a roll cage. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna play with that. But I don't know. For all I know, it could do a 13 second pass in its first run. I never ran out of track. So we'll, we'll see. I ran in the streets before. Nothing of this high caliber. So I'm gonna learn how to tree. Gonna learn how to stage do a burnout in the water box everything everything i'm 100 percent new i have some professional help you know what i mean but it's just going to be all on me now we know all out. and we know a lot of people that can help us on the on the lunch you know how to get the tree how to set up a stage you know everything so this is 100 percent going to be me driven me bill with johnny's help and professional help, but it's 100% all me, all on me. I don't want nobody to drive my car. Mind you, it's not fast enough to need a driver. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. building a seven second car, but I want to- A pro mod. <laughs> I want to have the luxury of saying, I built 80% of it and I drive it and whatever happens, happens. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but this is it. This is the new baby. It's going to be a while, so we're going to have a lot of videos. We'll be more active for sure. Yeah, we're going to be more active, guys. Um, and all this uh, right here. So right now what we're trying to do on this engine is uh, we're setting up the measurements to get the motor mounts and uh, get the transmission mount where it's supposed to be. So we have to push this a little bit more to the back. Uh, we're not going to go through the whole detail of doing the... The engine, we're gonna just do the. I'm trying the most as I can to do more of the uh, raw content to for you guys. But right now, with the whole, um, the only one camera that I got is the GoPro, and this is how I record everything. So right now, me and uh, Julio, we're gonna be showing the stuff as we progress. So what we're gonna be doing is we get the motor mounts, we got everything, and then we explain what we did. So another thing, uh, a shout out uh, to Unruling, is a YouTuber that actually put me into his YouTube channel and give me an opportunity to express and show my geo tracker. And that's gonna be for the geo tracker. That will be for another video. Uh, we're gonna move forward on that. But right now, what we got is this and the time for this. So, like I said, we're going to show you as we finish the product. We're going to show you the, vi the video as we finish. Then we explain, and then we keep going with that. 
I'm sorry if it's not, I'm trying to do it the most organic I can, but right now this is the most organic I can do. So, and we can do. And so let's go with that for now and I should, uh, stay with us. So uh, this is what we conclude on the Toyota, on the drag car. So we are about to do some motor mounts and we're gonna be doing that on the next video. And we got the piping that we're gonna be using. We're gonna do a tubular motor mount. So this is the piping that we're gonna be using. And we got the, um, the steel. Um, can I tell you the gauge right now? Cause I don't know the gauge right now. It's 0.095. 0 0.095 right now. Uh, we're gonna be using that. So we're about to close this uh, video, but I needed to show you guys the progress that we're about to do on this. We were measuring a lot of stuff. It's a lot of brainstorming what I had envisioned with the material that I was able to get didn't work. I was able to get this from the shop owner in front of me. He builds circle track cars. So it's whatever he's, it's the same metal that he uses for his roll cages. So I know it's not gonna be weak compared to the metal that I had. I think we made good progress. It was a pain. First time I'm ever putting a stereo engine G54B into a Corolla. Never seen it done in person, so this is all new to me, honestly. Um, you know, the engine's in place. It's held on by the cherry picker and all that good stuff, but it's the best that we could do right now. I think we made good progress today. Next week, we're going to a friend's house, helping work on his car. He got into an accident on the first car show that I took this one out to. Um, he rear-ended somebody because they cut him off, but he was lucky enough to get a shell. So we might shoot a little video there, hopefully something. But yeah. So and we'll keep you updated. It's gonna be probably a couple more weeks before I have do anything to this, depending work situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, and um, but. the video that he just mentioned. So he saw it's on the channel. If you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, go to the channel. It's uh Japan and uh white station wagon with baby blue that's the our friends and that's what we're going next uh, weekend so yeah. we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff a lot of stuff on his car drop the motor in start it i'm gonna start it that saturday i'm not gonna bs around so but yeah so yeah we're gonna use this metal as johnny said this tubing tubular style Kind of got the idea from 2J Civic, uh, Debbie Garage, even though we never talked to them, but I saw the video, saw the 2J Civic. I like that whole tubular mount setup that he's got going on. Nowhere near going to be that great, but I want my mounts to be tubular style. It's just simple, clean, and if you look over here real quick, I don't have a lot of space in general. So this mount's gonna be cut off on both sides. That's a cross member mount. With the tubular, I'll sit here with the pipe, you know. I'll have all I'll have a good chunk of free space for the big turbo. You know, turbo will be in general like this general area where my hands at. Uh, yeah, well yeah, because obviously I gotta cut the hood so turbo generally right here. I don't know if I'm going to do exhaust straight down out, out of the passenger door floor or if I'm going to do it full drag car out of the behind the tower, out of the fender. I don't know, I really kind of don't like that style. I kind of just want to shoot it straight down out of the floor underneath the door. That way it's still like more streetable-ish. Mind you, it's not a street car, but I want to street it car aspect of it you know I'm not a full race car I will get it will get there gradually it will, it will eventually become a full-on race race car race car you know what I mean but I just you know I don't know if I really want to damage a perfectly good fender do a big hole if I don't need to but 
like I said, new import street shop's gonna be doing the engine. And if he says cut it, there's a reason why he builds cars that go six eight faster than six eight. You know what I mean? His personal car goes six nine, and it's coming out soon. So it's like if he says do it out the fender, do it out the fender. If he says do it underneath the door, do it. All the parts, all the turbos, and everything. I'm going off what he says to buy. So, you know, engine wise, I bought everything I had, but blow off our wastegate turbo and the manifold, which most likely is going to be got the performance turbo manifold. I got to buy whatever new import speed shop says, whatever he tells me to build. He knows I want to run nines. I think he has a bigger vision in, in mind. I'll just be happy to run 999s, like I said. I'll take it from there. But yeah, that's, that's it for today. Engine, it's in place. Not bolted up, but it's doing good. Enough clearance in the back. Definitely enough clearance in the front. I think we'll, we'll do good. So yeah, um, a lot of measuring, a lot of numbers. And uh, to make sure that safety first, so we're gonna be in these cars and like we said we're not professionals but we're trying what well we can because we love the sport. the sport and the community um we're about to go for the next video so press like comment and share thank you very much goodbye Bye.